So hello guys and welcome to Laravel 5 for beginners. So even if we are going to do Laravel 5.1 here, I will keep saying Laravel 5 because there are not a lot of uh, you know differences from uh, Laravel 5. Now, I will I want to say that these video tutorials are for all of you that you know PHP, however, you still have not worked with any PHP framework. So in order to keep uh, going and understand you know the following videos you have to know a bit of PHP, okay? If you are not expert, it is okay. However, you need to know some stuff about PHP, how to create a class, how to create a function, what is a function, and actually a lot of, you know, object-oriented programming uh, techniques. Now, in this very first video, I will go with the installation of Laravel. And for that purpose, I will use the documentation of Laravel. Now, I want to say something very important. Uh, what I want, what I will follow throughout the videos is a documentation. So, for example, if you, if after you finish all these videos here and you start working uh, on your project with Laravel, and sometimes you know you might have a, some problems, you might forget something, what you're gonna do? Are you gonna Google it? Well, you should not Google that because uh, you have the documentation. So, what I will do throughout these videos is use the documentation. 70%, 80% for my uh, code. So you have to be, uh, you know, you have to learn how to read this documentation. And this is why I will start from the very first video using the documentation. Now, for example, I want to also say something else because if you are at a job and uh, your uh, your boss tells you that you have to learn, for example, Node.js, what do, what do you do? Do you uh, take, you know, seminars and do you... Uh, buy books and watch tutorials, well, you do not do that. I mean, what, what do you do is to go to the documentation and, uh, you know, learn Node.js, for example, there. So the same thing that we are going to do for Laravel 5.1. So we are not going to, uh, you know, Google everything, but we are going to use the documentation. For example, since, since this is the first video, I want to install Laravel. And here now you have uh, plenty of information about Laravel. You have information about Homestead, which is a virtual machine. However, I'm not going to use that. Uh, and this is why, uh, for example, Homestead uh, has already pre-installed uh, your server and all the other materials, all the other uh, components that are needed in order to run Laravel. Uh, in our case now, we do not have that, uh, that comfort. So what we're going to do is, first of all, install XAMPP or WAMP, and then you have to install Composer. So Composer is, inst is installed second. Why? Because Composer needs PHP and PHP is inside XAMPP or WAMP, depending on what you install. So back to our documentation now. Uh, I want to, uh, if you want, you can read all this kind of information. However, I want to skip and go right here. So it says that uh, via Laravel installer, so sorry, right here. So via Composer create project. So you may also install Laravel by issuing the Composer create project command in your terminal. So after you have installed uh, Compose Exam and Composer or WAMP and Composer, you can open your CMD. So I have my CMD here. So what I want you guys to do is to have a folder called Tutorials or any kind of name you want. Uh, in my case, it is called Tutorials, and inside here now I have all my projects. Uh, so what I'm going to do right here now is to create the project for uh, Laravel 5.1 or Laravel, we can say <laughs> Laravel 5. So what I'm going to do now is to go to that folder. So I will say CD desktop and then CD tutorials. So if I say dir here, you can see that we have our folders, which is advanced key logger, C sharp and HTML5. Now inside this folder, I want to create my Laravel 5 project. So what I'm going to do now, you can see that this is a uh, command that you have to uh, type in order to get the project. So I will go to here and say, we can make the screen smaller. So I can go here now and say composer create project Laravel, Laravel, and then you can give a name for your Laravel project. I will name this uh, project Laravel uh, 5. So after you press enter, uh, you, uh, you know, the CMD Composer will start uh, getting all the folders and uh, he, uh, it will move it to your 
uh, tutorials folder that we have right here. In my case, it is called tutorial. So as you see, uh, right after I press entered, uh, the installation started, and here now we have the Laravel 5 folder. For example, for the moment, it has a couple of uh, folders, but not everything is there. So if I open up, you also see the uh, the, the files there. However, if you go to uh, Venter, which I think it is not still created, uh, it has a lot of files there. And uh, anyway, so this is only about the uh, installation. So I will wait for the installation to complete, and I will come back. So as you can see right now, uh, my installation has been successfully completed. And uh, if I go back to my uh, tutorials folder, so we have our folder, we have our project named Laravel 5. And if you go to this project, to that folder, you can now see all the files that correspond to Laravel uh, 5.1 uh, folder hierarchy. Now, you can see a lot of differences. So if you are a Laravel 4.2 uh, developer or Laravel 4 developer, uh, you can see a lot of differences uh, with uh, Laravel 5 now. So anyway, this is about the installation of Laravel. The next, in the next video, I will explain to you all these folders. So what are all these folders and all these files? So you know, you have to know uh, what are these folders and what are these files in order to understand uh, the MVC uh, better and also the folder hierarchy that Laravel 5 is using.